All right, so number four here. The only failure is inaction. And truly, guys, you have, you have to really, really embody this. Inaction is the only failure. If you come to me and you're like, bro, man, I've done fucking like 20 approaches in the last month, whatever. I'm like, bro, you might be watching pickup coaches. You might have a wing that you met through pickup. You might be, I don't know, you got a day game program you're going through. So you feel like this is also normal. It's fucking not. This is scary shit. The amount of men in this world who have the goddamn balls to go up to a hot bitch at fucking Whole Foods and be like, yo, hey, excuse me. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. I just uh, I just thought you were insanely attractive and I, I just wanted to come meet you real quick. Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm Aaron. What's your name? Oh, I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you. Samantha, good to meet you. How long you lived here in Austin? Nobody has the fucking balls to do this. So failure is caving to your fear. My favorite quote of all time, actually, nay, a quote that I made up. Leaders are not fearless. Leaders take action in the face of fear. Donald Trump feels fear. Tate feels fear. Genghis Khan feels fear. Aaron Alexander feels fear. But we approach anyways. We charge forward into battle. And so I do want to say this, and this is not popular. This is not a popular statement. Guys get real butthurt when I kind of talk about this. But if you, as a grown ass man, everybody on here is 18 and up, I'm assuming. If you're not, you got to leave. I'm cursing too much. I'll go to jail for even having you on here. So all of you are grown ass men. And at a certain point, if you are going out regularly, or even semi-regularly, and you're looking at women and you cannot approach them, your fear, your ideas, your brain, your fucking pesky little prefrontal cortex, like, don't do it, no. You must literally go get back in your car and look in your fucking mirror and be like, who am I? When I was a little kid, did I ever think I was gonna be this big of a pussy that like I could, I thought I was gonna be an astronaut. I thought I was going to be a fucking whatever you thought you were going to be. And now, like, I can't go talk to a mid brunette at the fuck it on the street. Like, what? 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 Who have I become as a man? You guys have to really face that. And it's like, well, my trauma. Fuck your trauma. Shut up. Go get trauma healing. Watch some trauma videos. Go pretend that trauma is actually something that you can resolve. And then then go do it. But in all actuality, like. This shit is, you have to face yourself in the mirror and be like, yo, damn, who am I? So inaction is the only failure because what happens also is that if you are above, I would say 105 IQ, if you're just somewhat intelligent, then depression, failure, self anger, these things should motivate you. And actually, you know what? I'm going to take back what I said about IQ because even really dumb people can get really motivated by their failures. But what you will never get motivated by is inaction. Inaction will never motivate you. However, if you are getting rejected by bitches, bro, I started game. Guys, if you don't know me that well, I started game at 300 pounds. I was a 300 pound man with severe acne. I was a 300 pound little boy with acne and I started approaching. And, and I was getting wasted and I was going out approaching and I was just so blown away to find out that I could be Neo in the matrix, that these women who I used to just look at and be like, Oh my God, look at her. That would, nah, I wish I could have that one day. And when I found out like, Oh, I can at least talk to them. They're not into me. I'm, I'm floundering. This is weird, but like, I'm the guy now standing there with them that I used to look at that guy and be like, man, what does he have that I don't? And, you know, now I'm that guy. And so then I'm getting rejected left and right. And I'm like, dude, you're fucking fat, bro. Stop. Stop being fat. So I stopped being fat. It was a decision that I made. And it is a, a decision that you must make as well to stop being an incel.